I really was the one that wanted my freedom at that point um, because I just wasn't happy in the relationship anymore. Uh, the relationship, in my opinion, had become too dark. Fleetwood Mac's legacy is filled with chart-topping hits and unforgettable melodies. But there's a side to the band's story that's rarely discussed. Behind the captivating harmonies and soulful guitar riffs lies a tapestry of personal relationships that ended in chaos, explosive legal battles, and moments of bitter public conflict. What really happened during their rumors recording sessions? Why did some band members break into open hostility during live performances? We'll take you into the lesser-known corners of Fleetwood Mac's history, where the drama extends far beyond the music and where secrets remained hidden for decades. Prepare yourself for a journey into the controversies that changed the band forever. This changed everything. Fleetwood Mac's original leader, Peter Green, was more than just a guitar legend. He was the band's visionary. But in 1970, he made a sudden exit that left the band and fans reeling. The reason? A complex mix of mental health struggles and spiritual awakening? Green's departure wasn't just a personal journey. It marked a radical change for Fleetwood Mac's music and future. Peter Green had always been a bit of an enigma. He could draw soul out of a guitar like few others, but the pressures of fame combined with his increasing experiments with LSD led him down a darker path. Green began showing erratic behavior, often questioning the band's success and even suggesting that they give away their money to charity. His growing disillusionment with the rock and roll lifestyle and a deepening spiritual quest eventually drove him to leave the band altogether. This exit wasn't without drama. Green's last performances were marked by a noticeable change in his demeanor and band members reported that he seemed distant and unwell. Mick Fleetwood, the drummer once remarked, it felt like he was being taken away by forces we couldn't control. The fallout from Green's departure left Fleetwood Mac in a state of chaos, forcing them to reimagine their sound and lineup. Despite the turmoil, Green's legacy within Fleetwood Mac remained. His soulful guitar work and emotional intensity set a high bar for those who followed. The band's evolution from a blues-centric group to the pop-rock powerhouse we know today can be traced back to this pivotal moment. However, Fleetwood Mac's journey was far from reaching calmer waters. Welch's Rocky Exit Fleetwood Mac is no stranger to internal shakeups, but the departure of Bob Welch in 1974 caused a serious stir. Welch, who had joined the band in 1971, played a pivotal role in redefining their sound. Yet. Rumors flew when he left, with whispers of creative disagreements and internal tension. The band's trajectory changed, and the aftermath was anything but peaceful. Welch's departure wasn't a simple farewell. It led to a lengthy legal battle over royalties. When Welch joined Fleetwood Mac, the band was transitioning from its blues roots to a more rock-oriented style. He had a significant hand in that shift, However, the creative direction didn't sit well with everyone, leading to conflicts within the group. Welch felt his contributions deserved more recognition, while the rest of the band had different opinions. The legal dispute over royalties became a thorny issue. Welch believed he was owed a portion of the band's future earnings, given his role in shaping their new sound. Fleetwood Mac, however, contested his claim. This led to a drawn-out court case that highlighted the complexities of band dynamics and contractual obligations. During one interview, Mick Fleetwood admitted, It was a messy time. Bob wanted credit for his work, and we just couldn't see eye to eye. In the end, the case was settled, but it left a lasting impact on the band. The departure of key members like Welch shows how internal disagreements can lead to public scandals and lasting consequences even for a band as iconic as Fleetwood Mac. Despite the resolution with Welch, the band's internal tensions continued to simmer. Mac's lineup turmoil. The 1970s were tumultuous for Fleetwood Mac, but nothing shook the band quite like the scandal that erupted during the production of their 1973 album, Mystery to Me. The group, known for its constant lineup changes, was thrown into chaos when guitarist Bob Weston had an affair with Mick Fleetwood's wife. Talk about drama. The scandal led to Weston's departure from the band, but it wasn't just a quick goodbye. 
the aftermath rippled through the group, causing significant turmoil and tension. Imagine trying to record an album while dealing with personal betrayal and professional uncertainty. McFleetwood, the band's co-founder, was at the heart of it all, managing not only the music, but also the emotional fallout. Fleetwood's public image was thrown into question, and the band's cohesion took a hit. It wasn't just the media and fans who were buzzing about the scandal. Band members were left questioning their future together. Despite the rocky road, Fleetwood Mac managed to carry on, but the scars from this incident remained. This moment in their history is a stark reminder that sometimes the most dramatic stories aren't just in the lyrics, but in the lives of those who write them. Be that as it may, more drama was just around the corner. Rumors of Rumors Behind the hit album Rumors, Fleetwood Mac had some real turmoil. In the mid-1970s, they faced not only lineup changes, but also a lot of drama due to rampant drug use. While recording Rumors, the band was said to be deep into cocaine and other substances, turning the recording process into a chaotic party with a soundtrack. Cocaine wasn't just fueling the music, it was also affecting the band's behavior and work ethic. Mick Fleetwood, in his memoir, admitted that drugs played a significant role during this time, contributing to the tension and infighting among band members. Lindsey Buckingham, Stevie Nicks, Christine McVie, John McVie, and Mick Fleetwood were all in different stages of complex relationships with one another, and the drugs only made things messier. Despite the chaos, Rumors became one of the best-selling albums of all time, a testament to the band's talent and their ability to turn personal strife into musical gold. Even with all the drama, they managed to record iconic tracks like Go Your Own Way and Dreams, proving that sometimes great art comes from even greater chaos. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. By the end of the recording sessions, the band was holding on by a thread. Nevertheless, the album's success couldn't mask the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. Max Romantic Chaos Fleetwood Max music has always had a distinct emotional intensity, and that might be because the band members were often entangled in romantic relationships with each other. It's like a soap opera with a killer soundtrack. Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, perhaps the most famous pair, had a relationship that could make a tabloid editor blush. They were the on-again, off-again couple whose ups and downs are woven into their songs. Go, Your Own Way, and Dreams aren't just rock anthems. They're breakup messages set to a beat. Meanwhile, Christine and John McVie were the married couple in the band. As much as their music was harmonious, their personal life wasn't. The McVies eventually divorced, but unlike most divorcing couples, they still had to work together. Talk about awkward. It didn't help that the band was known for its wild parties and drug-fueled recording sessions. All those personal dynamics mixed with high-pressure recording environments and lots of cocaine. What could go wrong? Despite the drama, Fleetwood Mac continued to produce hit after hit. Their ability to turn personal turmoil into chart-topping albums is almost as impressive as their resilience in staying together through it all. It's no wonder that Fleetwood Mac remains one of the most intriguing bands in rock history. As Fleetwood Mac weathered their personal storms, another challenge loomed, threatening the stability they fought hard to maintain. Mick's Money Missteps Mick Fleetwood, the legendary drummer and co-founder of Fleetwood Mac, faced a financial crisis in the 1980s that left many fans and industry insiders in shock. Despite being part of a massively successful band, Fleetwood's bankruptcy revealed that rock and roll stardom doesn't always equate to financial stability. It turns out that Fleetwood's financial mismanagement and personal issues played a significant role in his downfall. The band was making millions, but Fleetwood's lavish lifestyle and poor investments led to mounting debts. He was living the high life with sprawling mansions and exotic cars, but behind the scenes, the bills were piling up. Ultimately, he declared bankruptcy, showcasing the pressures of maintaining a rock star image while trying to manage a successful band. In his autobiography, Play On, Fleetwood described the bankruptcy as a wake-up call. 
He admitted that his extravagant spending habits and lack of financial oversight were the primary reasons for his predicament. It was a tough lesson for the drummer, who realized that even rock icons have to keep an eye on their bank accounts. So next time you're at a Fleetwood Mac concert and think, wow, these guys must be rolling in cash, remember Mick Fleetwood's roller coaster ride through bankruptcy. It shows that rock stardom can be just as unpredictable as the music itself. Though Mick's finances were in disarray, Fleetwood Mac's drama continued to unfold on stage. Drama on stage. When Fleetwood Mac hit the road for tours, it wasn't just the music that grabbed attention. Sometimes the drama between band members took center stage. The group, known for its intricate relationships and legendary infighting, had moments during live performances where their internal conflicts became impossible to hide. Imagine this. The band is playing one of their biggest hits, but you can feel the tension in the air. Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, whose romantic past is as famous as their music, exchange icy glances. Christine McVie and John McVie, the divorced couple who still had to share the stage, maintain a professional front, but there's an undercurrent of discomfort. Mick Fleetwood, the band's drummer and co-founder, does his best to keep the rhythm while navigating the emotional minefield. These awkward on-stage moments inevitably sparked public speculation about the band's relationships. Rumors flew, suggesting that Fleetwood Mac's personal drama might lead to a breakup or worse, impacting the quality of their performances. At times, it seemed like the audience was getting a behind-the-scenes look at a soap opera set to a rock soundtrack. Yet amid all the drama, Fleetwood Mac somehow managed to deliver powerful performances. Perhaps it was the raw emotion that added an extra layer of intensity to their shows. Despite the turmoil, the band always found a way to pull it together, proving that their music and connection with fans could transcend even the most challenging of times. Yet, even with the on-stage tensions, the band's inner turmoil was about to reach new heights. Christine's Exit Christine McVie's departure from Fleetwood Mac in 1998 shocked fans, but seemed inevitable given the brewing tensions within the band. While rumors flew about the reasons behind her exit, the truth was a complex mix of disagreements over touring commitments, creative differences, and the evolving dynamics within the group. McVie, known for her steady presence and melodic contributions, was often seen as a calming force amid the band's notorious chaos. Yet the pressures of constant touring and the band's shifting focus became too much. The late-night parties and rock-and-roll lifestyle weren't exactly McVie's scene, and she had grown tired of the relentless grind. As one insider put it, Christine was never one for drama. She just wanted to play music and enjoy life, but Fleetwood Mac wasn't exactly the easiest place for that. Creative differences also played a role. McVie preferred a softer, more melodic approach, while other band members, like Lindsey Buckingham, leaned toward more experimental sounds. These conflicting visions made it challenging to maintain harmony on and off the stage. In interviews following her departure, McVie mentioned feeling stifled creatively, saying, I'm too old for this. I don't want to be in hotels anymore. It just isn't fun anymore. The spark is gone and I don't see it coming back. Her exit highlighted the contrasting priorities within the band. While some members were eager to keep the rock and roll train rolling, McVie was ready for a quieter life. Her departure marked a turning point for Fleetwood Mac, signaling that the internal dynamics had shifted and that the band's future would never be quite the same. Despite Christine's departure, Fleetwood Mac's story was far from over. Creative Clashes The production of Fleetwood Mac's 2003 album, Say You Will, was fraught with hidden disputes that shook the band's dynamic. The most obvious change? Christine McVie's absence, which significantly altered the band's sound. Her decision not to participate was driven by her desire for a quieter life, as she was done with the drama and chaos of touring. Without her smooth, melodic touch, the album took on a different vibe. Christine's departure left a gap in the band's creative direction, leading to clashes between Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. Buckingham, always the experimental type, wanted to push the boundaries with innovative sounds and unconventional arrangements. In contrast, Nicks preferred a more traditional rock approach which aligned with the band's earlier hits. 
It was like Buckingham was out here trying to reinvent the wheel, while Nick's just wanted a reliable set of Goodyear tires. These contrasting visions led to tension in the studio. Buckingham was all about layering complex guitar riffs and trying out new production techniques. Nix, on the other hand, believed in keeping it simple with powerful vocals and straightforward rock melodies. There were whispers that the two butted heads over nearly every track, with some heated arguments about which direction the album should take. In interviews at the time, Nix hinted at the friction, saying, Lindsay has his own way of doing things, and it's not always the way I would do it. Despite the creative disagreements, Say You Will was released and became a success, proving that even amid conflict, Fleetwood Mac could still create magic. But the behind-the-scenes drama was as intense as ever, keeping fans guessing about the band's future. But let's not get too comfortable. A new chapter of conflict was about to begin. Legal Showdown when Fleetwood Mac fired Lindsey Buckingham in 2018, it was like throwing a rock into a calm pond, ripples turned into waves, and soon the whole music industry was buzzing about the legal storm brewing between Buckingham and the band. Buckingham didn't take the firing lightly and filed a lawsuit against his former bandmates for breach of contract, among other claims. What started as a simple personnel change quickly morphed into a public drama that revealed deeper issues within the group. Fleetwood Mac's internal conflicts were nothing new, but Buckingham's lawsuit opened a new chapter in their storied history. He alleged that the band had removed him without proper cause and that this decision cost him millions in lost earnings from their upcoming tour. It was like he had been kicked off the tour bus just as it was about to hit the road. He argued that the band's actions were driven by internal power struggles and differing visions for the band's future. Buckingham's departure highlighted the long-standing tensions between him and other band members, particularly Stevie Nicks. Their relationship had always been a roller coaster, but this time it seemed like the wheels had come off. Buckingham's lawsuit made headlines, with fans and critics alike speculating about what really went down behind closed doors. Despite the lawsuit, Fleetwood Mac continued with their tour, bringing in new talent to fill the gap. Meanwhile, Buckingham's legal battle with the band eventually settled out of court, but the drama surrounding his firing remained a hot topic. It served as a reminder that even iconic bands aren't immune to internal conflict and legal disputes. Despite the legal resolution, the wounds of Buckingham's firing were still fresh. What did you find most surprising or insightful about this deep dive into the hidden layers of Fleetwood Mac? Share your thoughts by commenting below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you enjoyed this video, we think you'll like this one that's on your screen now. Thanks for watching.